everyone. Thanks for tuning in to Two Nutritionists. I'm Victoria. And I'm Marilena. And we're both registered holistic nutritionists. Yeah. And today we're going to be talking about um, some of our health beauty, our beauty products. Yes. I'm sitting here with Marilena who is awesome and very knowledgeable on beauty products. Way more knowledgeable than I am, so I'm learning a few tips from her. And I can't wait to get some, to hear some products that she has, uh, that she uses. And I'm going to go over a few things that have helped me. Yeah, so we both try to use very natural uh, products as much as possible. They're not always going to be completely natural, but as much as possible to lessen the impact on the environment and to lessen the impact on your body as well. Because yeah. as you know, your skin is your large, largest organ and it actually absorbs about 80% of what you put on it. Yeah. So literally what you put on your skin, you might as well be eating it. So that kept in mind, let's go on into what we like to use. Yeah, so for me, I've had, I've always struggled with acne. I've had trouble skin um, basically since I can remember. And I had been using Proactive for like, I don't even know how many years, like since I was in, in high school in grade eight, like from then on for into, into my 20s. So Proactive really worked for me at like minimizing things, but I had to use it constantly all the time. And every time I tried to go off of Proactive, my skin went insane, like crazy. And I'd be like, oh, I need Proactive again. I can't do this whole healthy skin like product thing. I need Proactive. Mm -hmm. So finally, it took, took me some time, but I actually found a regimen that helped me and my skin. Um, and it's a miracle for me. It's actually this tea tree hemp um, pure Castell soap by Dr. Bronner's mm -hmm. and for me I've always wanted to find something that proactive is a three-step I don't know if anybody's had used it before but it's a long process and I hated doing all three steps every night every morning it just took so much time I just really want to be one of those people that could just wash their face once and like throw some water on in the morning and not have to worry about it and I've actually finally gotten there and I'm so happy about that and now I just use this Dr. Bronner's soap and basically that's all I really use. I'll just use this as my cleanser. Um, sometimes I will use, and I use the tea tree Dr. Bronner's one, so it has tea tree in it. Mm -hmm. And I also will use coconut oil sometimes, and this really helps with my scarring. I will never leave it on because it breaks me out. So what I'll use is a little bit of coconut oil. I'll rub it on my face. Um, and then I'll use some more water and I'll kind of rinse it, rinse it. And then I'll use my, um, Dr. Bronner's soap to kind of remove it a little bit. So it's not leaving because the, the coconut oil absorbs enough into my skin that I get enough from it and then I remove the rest with my soap bar so that it doesn't break me out yeah. um, and then in nighttime I found this product um, which I actually love and it really has helped if I have like a pimple coming or whatnot it really helps it's called um, it's by arithmetic I found it on a bloggers um, page who was talking about it and I just bought it from that site and it's an acne control complex um, it's got jojoba oil in it, witch hazel, um, shea butter, tea tree oil, and it does have a little bit of benzoyl peroxide in it um, to help with spot treatment, uh, but that's kind of like my, my go-to safety net. And then I basically just use the Dr. Bronner soap and it's been life changing for my skin mm -hmm. and for just like everything. I don't have to do the three steps. I don't have to spend hundreds of dollars on Proactive every month, which I was spending. And this soap bar is like $4 yeah. and it's awesome to just have this one product. I mean, it did take me time. It took, my skin broke out going off of Proactive because it was like, what are you doing? But after- It's a purging period. Yeah, happens. like it was like a four month- all the toxins Not gonna lie, it was like four to six months where my mm -hmm. skin was like getting used to this new routine. But then it definitely has gotten so much better and I'm so glad I went through that. Yeah, and I'm just going to add a little bit onto what she's using. So Dr. Bronner's is amazing. I actually, I don't use, I haven't used the bar soap yet. I'm mm. going to try it. Yeah. But I actually use the lavender one um, in the concentrate and I use that for more than just my skin. I use it for my uh, dish soap. I use it to clean uh, my cat's paws sometimes because it's so natural and sensitive that you can yeah. actually even use it on babies, on animals, everything. And so detergent, that's detergent, I've heard. Detergent, you can use it as detergent. You just, liquid. You use it as a liquid and you, yeah. and you add the tiniest little bit and so strong and so powerful. So I actually use mine with my body wash right now. And mm. It's amazing. I just, I, you add a little bit to some water and it works amazingly. So, and the thing is with the tea tree oil in this, this is probably definitely helping your skin because yeah, it has sure. a lot of antimicrobial and antifungal properties. Yeah, so that's really good. One thing that you can do with the coconut oil, which I actually use this as my moisturizer for my whole body. Oh really? I don't use it as my on my face as a moisturizer, but 
what I do is I actually take a little bit um, to take off my makeup at night. I completely massage it into my skin, take a really, like a, a cloth, and um, put it under really hot water, not like to the point where it burns you, but hot water, and then you just leave it on your skin, and it opens up your pores and pulls out all your impurities. Yeah. And it actually works really, really well, and you can also take a little bit of this and put it on your eyelashes at night, and it helps them grow. Yeah, you taught me that one. Yeah. Um, also, just the one thing about the oil, so mm -hmm. I did try... Um, the oil cleansing method with olive oil. I've tried olive oil. I tried um, grapeseed oil. I tried all the different oils mm -hmm. and for me That broke me out like little tiny bumps so bad. I couldn't get rid of them mm -hmm. But for whatever reason coconut oil, which I was so afraid to try because I all these other oils mm -hmm. broke me out I was like I'm not trying coconut oil. It's so thick like it's gonna break yeah. me up for sure for whatever reason, the coconut oil seems to be fine with me, and I think it's because I don't like leave it on. I kind of wash it off after. Mm -hmm. um, but that's been really helpful for me. But yeah. everyone's different. Like everyone's skin's different. So what's gonna work for me is not gonna work for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, some people love the oil cleansing method. It just didn't quite work for me. Yes. Personally, but it depends on your skin. It type. really depends on your skin type because for me, I can leave it on my skin, but it yeah. actually makes my skin too dry if I just leave that on my skin. So yeah. it's really just dependent on your skin type. And um, and my skin's melt like sometimes oily, sometimes dry. So it really, really just depends on you. Yeah. But I love coconut oil for skin. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, it's I don't. Awesome. Yeah, I don't always use it as a moisturizer, but I find it's really good at taking off your makeup. Yeah. So amazing stuff. And also, like you're gonna go through a page a period where you're gonna break out a bit and you change products, but also try know yourself too and just know sometimes you are just breaking out from the product and just stop like yes. i've done that before and i'm like oh it's a purging period and done it for yeah. like a month or two and i'm like hey this is not a purging period like i'm just breaking yeah. out yeah for me so i just, didn't it, it's trial yeah. and trial and error yeah. yeah so it is trial and error um now going into some of my favorite products um one of my favorite things to use throughout the day in the morning at mm -hmm. night is rose water and the one by the heritage store i have that one it's this nice. is my favorite stuff i've tried lots of different rose waters but this one is amazing and it's also really good for if you're having a really bad day yeah. and you're so stressed out if you just take a moment and just spray it and just kind of breathe it in yeah it's so refreshing it's very refreshing. it smells so it nice it smells really nice it's not too overpowering yeah um it it's doesn't actually, last really either because it's real rose water petals. it's more like um like a sweeter smell yeah. than regular uh, rose um mist but this one is my favorite. Mm -hmm. This is actually really good because it's high in uh, rose water. is really high in vitamin C. Mm -hmm. So it also helps with hyperpigmentation on your skin too left from leftover marks. Or oh, awesome. It, it, yeah, so if you use this constantly throughout the day, well, not only it's hydrate. Acne scars. Hi acne scars. Um, if you have, you know, some hyperpigmentation even just from the sun. Like if you have a yeah. couple of freckles and you don't want to have those lingering too long, um, you can spray some of this on and it definitely helps. Another one of my favorite lines is actually La Vanilla. You can get this at Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada or you can get it at Sephora. Um, I use their healthy deodorant in lavender vanilla and it's amazing. It's filled with such good ingredients, so much better than using secret or... So it's not, it's an all natural deodorant? It's completely all natural really? and it smells... And you never smell that. No. <laughs> Surprise. Smell it. Every, it smells so every good. Every natural deodorant I've tried is I've like tried Legit. it and I stink. Like oh. it's so bad. Yeah. So I'm like I just can't do it. Like I'm just gonna smell. I just can't. So I've never found one that actually works. No. So if this one works, I'll try it. Me too. Like it honestly. You actually never smells bad, so it must be working. And <laughs> honestly, and I, I, I sweat a lot because I do like to. <laughs> You're like, like I'm a stinker. <laughs> no, not like I just like to break a sweat. You know, it's good for you. Yeah. But this is the healthy deodorant. It doesn't have any like <laughs> nasty ingredients in there, and it actually is the first one that's ever worked for me too. Crazy. The only downside is it's twenty six dollars. Yeah. But this lasts me a year. Yeah. And I use it every single day and it actually you really lasts use me it. a year. No, <laughs> it, it lasts me lasts a, year. a year. Yeah, and it's just it's amazing and it's actually got lots of um, ingredients that nourish your armpits and make them not so dry and irritated from shaving and all or waxing or whatever us girls do. Yeah. And really want to nourish it's them. got things like honeysuckle, um, golden seal extract, oh, yeah. um, it's got lots of antioxidants and I love this smell. I loved it so much that I bought the fragrance and this is the healthy fragrance because a lot of people don't know that um, the ingredients in your fragrance can also make you break out on your body and on your face because you're spraying it in the air yeah. and it also has a lot of um, 
like regular perfumes, a lot of them have really bad ingredients in them that are bad for your lungs yeah. to inhale and they're, they seep into your skin and are, can be um, carcinogenic. So this is really good. It actually also provides antioxidants. It smells great. And it makes me just feel really relaxed when I spray some on myself. It's vanilla Sorry. lavender, so yes, it's two lavender, of my favorites vanilla. mixed it's, together. <laughs> yes. Do you want to try some on? Yeah. Yeah. It smells it different on everyone. and. Uh, it's in the way when it settles into mm -hmm. your body chemistry. Love it's it. just I feel like it works with your own pheromones And I, I just love I love this brand so much La Vanilla. It, they do a really amazing job and then two more of my favorite things um, are Pacifica Pacifica is an all-natural brand from Portland, Oregon and I first heard about them through their perfumes as well um, and then I found they had a makeup line and their mascara is the best natural mascara I've ever used. Um, I, it gives you a really natural look. I don't like to put a pile it on. I like to put a, a little bit, but if you put on two coats of this, it yeah. will give you like huge lashes, amazing huge lashes. But so what I do is I just put barely any, I'll just show you what the wand looks like so you can kind of see. It kind of just looks like this, so it's a big wand, um, but so what I do is I lightly tap it onto my eyelashes just to give it more of a natural look, but this is one of the best mascaras that I've used that's natural, and I find that it doesn't irritate my eyes and it helps condition my lashes, so I love using that one. Yeah, so she actually has um, a great video on like probiotic um, face masks and a bunch of different other beauty products on her YouTube channel on Peace and Beauty. So you should definitely go check that out. She's very, very knowledgeable on beauty products that are really good for you. And like you, she said, like your skin is your largest organ. Mm -hmm. So you are really absorbing all of these things that you use. I'm like slowly getting into the, you know, using all the different um, organic products. It's taken me some time to kind of mm -hmm. transition after I learned about it. Um, going to holistic school and learning about all these things, I started trying to change everything I was using, mm -hmm. not just what I was eating, but also from the outside, um, all my products and stuff. But I'm a little bit behind on that. She knows a lot, a lot about that and uh, definitely check out her video on that. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching and until next time, we'll see you later. Bye.